Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks here, and welcome to my kitchen. We are gonna make some boiled eggs that actually aren't really even boiled. They're steamed, and you will need a little steaming basket for, to put in your saucepan, and these are cheap. I'll leave you a link below, and I wanted to show you this. Now, this was a farm fresh egg from my neighbor, and I wanna show you how easy they are to peel. Now, FYI, I show you this later on, and I get this off in one piece. So let's see if I could do it here. They are so easy to peel. No, I didn't get it off in one, but I mean, you could just see how easy this is to peel. I mean, there you go. A lot of times farm fresh eggs, you are just sitting there forever trying to peel them. And this method is amazing and gives you great, beautiful eggs. Let's just even open that one up. Look at that. No horrible greening on the um, outsides that show that it's been overcooked. Absolutely beautiful. So stay tuned and watch this episode. I've got an inch of cold water in here and we are gonna heat that up to a boil and then continue. Okay, we're dropping in our steamer basket. And I'm putting in my three farm fresh eggs that are two days old. And you can obviously tell the difference with the ones that are store bought. We're gonna put the lid on and we are gonna cook these for 12 minutes. Well, while our eggs are steaming, I thought we would take a field trip to uh, the chickens that gave me those eggs. All right, I'm in their backyard. Here are the chickens. They have a lovely home. They know I've come. I gave them some grits, an old frittata, and a, some sweet potato peels. Boy, do I wish I could have chickens. I travel too much. I can't have chickens. But it's nice that Becca lets me share hers with her. Okay, it's been 12 minutes. Now we are going to drain them and get them into their ice bath. Ooh, they're hot. Might want to use tongs. And this is going to make the inside white constrict and loosen away from the shell. Or is it vice versa? Is it the shell that's gonna, whatever it is, they're gonna separate the shell from the white inside. They're gonna pull away from each other by putting them in the ice bath. These will set in here a good 10 minutes. We want them to cool off. Our eggs have been sitting for 10 minutes. They seem pretty cool. They're not like warming up in my hand. Which shall we try first? How about we try one of these blue babies? Oh, look at how easy. Are you guys seeing that? Look, let me see if I can get it all off in one piece. <laughs> Is that not awesome? I'm just gonna put that back in there. Okay, and that was the fresh one that are usually much harder to peel. Let's see if we can get it off. Oh, that one didn't come off. Well, it's still hanging on. Let's see if we can get it off in one piece. Nope, came off. But look at it. Amazing. Let's do her again, guys. So you see that it's not a fluke. Every time... I get it in one every time this is what they're like now let's open one up and see how perfect it is inside make sure i don't cut myself oh that's just how i like it see how there's still just a little moisture now if you were going to make a salad with these you can still use these with a salad it's not that big of a deal um you know so these are almost these aren't a soft boil uh, but if you keep it in for another minute or two, then um, you're going to get a little more done. But I love eating them like this, just with some salt and pepper. 
Okay, now these are 14 minute eggs. So I just wanted to show you, see if there's a difference um, on the inside. Came off in one piece. Yes, definitely more done on the inside, but not, not overcooked. You don't see the green line, that ugly green line that makes terrible deviled eggs. Um, so that's a 14 minute egg. So I gave you 12, 14, and you can go all the way up to 16 or 17 minutes. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for you. Please don't forget to subscribe below, and I would love to hear from you with a thumbs up or a comment.